Hey, I'm Juan Esteban Garcia, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can save yourself a lot of time by automating some of the internal operations that you do in your business. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to send appointment reminders using the WhatsApp Business API. If you're interested in using the WhatsApp Business API, and like, for example, you have noticed that this can be somewhat complicated, and maybe you are saying to yourself, oh, I don't have the knowledge or the time to replicate all of this, then I'm going to show you how to take advantage of this in no time. And so without further ado, let's actually get started. Okay, so as you can see here, I am going to use Make for this use case. And in case you didn't know it, Make is a visual automation platform. And by the way, if you still don't have your Make account and you use my link for registration, you can actually get three months of Make's Pro plan completely for free. And you'll find the link to create your Make account in the comment section. You see here that I have a file called Appointments. And let's actually pretend that this is the, the file that I use to uh, keep track of all the different appointments that people have scheduled with me. And you see that I only have one row here, which is Juan Esteban Garcia, email, this is the WhatsApp, this is the date and time, and this is my link. All right, it's as simple as that. So this is what we're going to do, and this is where it starts to get interesting. I'm going to create an automation that does this. Whenever I add a new row to this appointments spreadsheet, I want to automatically trigger a WhatsApp message and send a reminder to that person, just letting them know that, hey, we have, you have scheduled this appointment and, and just don't forget to show up, okay? Because essentially that is the problem that we're trying to resolve here. As you have probably noticed, when you have any kind of appointments, you have seen that every once in a while, someone doesn't show up. And so hopefully that's what we are going to resolve here. And I'm going to, so you see here that, I, that I'm in this new scenario. And if I click here in this plus, icon i'm going to search for google sheets and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to watch rouse okay so with this watch rouse basically all i am going to do is to make sure that whenever a, a new route gets added then we want to trigger this flow so i'm going to add a new connection and i'm going to use this email address this is one of my twelve thousand email addresses and you see here that I have my Google connection. Uh, that's great. And I also have my drive. You can see that I can choose between the files that have been shared with me or my own files. And you see, that I'm, I'm actually going to choose um, appointments, which is the one that I'm interested in. And so you see that this is a very smart system that simply takes all of these uh, choices that we have made. And well, it asks us if the table contains headers, uh, which it does, because you see here that there is a header which is first name, last name, email, etc. And so we're going to ignore the first row. This is the row with the headers, so we can just leave it as is. I'm going to click OK. And it is asking me, okay, where do where should I start? Should I start in a specific row ID or should I just process all of the rows that we have here? I'm going to choose all. OK. And I'm going to run it once. So let's see what happens. All right. So you see how it works. Excellent. And it goes to the spreadsheet and it just it gets all the information that we are needing. In this case, you see how we have first name, last name, email, etc. All right, so we got this. I mean, this is great. Now, what we're going to do is we want to take this information and we want to use this to trigger the WhatsApp message that we're going to send. So let's see how it works. I'm going to add another module, but in this case, I'm actually going to use WhatsApp Business, WhatsApp Business Cloud, and I'm going to send a template message. And one thing that I want to tell you at this point is that we already have in our channel a lot of videos covering these topics. And so if for whatever reason, this is the first time that you are interacting with the WhatsApp Business API, I want you to know that we have other videos in particular. There's one called New Way to Send and Receive Messages using the WhatsApp Business API. I think that's the way it's called. And with that video, You'll be able to see in detail how to create your own developer account, how to add a test phone number, how to get an access token. So I'm going to assume that you are already familiar with some of those concepts. I'm still going to show you real quick how to do it, but I want you to know that we cover all those topics in depth in previous videos. There's actually a lot of videos and a lot of information that we cover in the channel. So I just want you to be aware of that. 
Okay, so you see here that I, I need to add, well, in this case, I already have one connection, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to show you from scratch how to do it. So I'm going to head over to developers.facebook.com, my apps, and you see that here uh, we have a, well, I have a, a lot of different applications, but in particular, we're going to use what called WhatsApp VIP YouTube. This is just a random name that I, that I came up with. And you see that I'm here in the Getting Started page, and I actually have everything that I need for this integration, for this automation in this page. And so if we look at this, you see that uh, if I try to add a new connection, well, it is asking me to enter a name for this connection. I'm just going to leave this default name and it is asking me for a permanent token. Okay, I'm going to use this temporary access token and like you see here that it says permanent token, but the truth is that at least for this video, this is the one that I'm going to use and I'm not going to spend time showing you how to create a permanent token, but just know that in this channel, we have a video covering that. So I encourage you to do it for this video. I'm just going to use this one, but it is ideal for you to use a permanent token because you don't want to be regenerating the same token every 24 hours. So having said that, let me paste this token and put it here. And for the WhatsApp business account ID, is the one that you're seeing here. I'm going to put it right here. And you see that it automatically reloads this page, well, this module. And the first thing that it shows me is that uh, it is asking me to select a sender ID. This is the ID uh, that we're, this is actually a phone number that we're going to use to deliver the messages to send them. And so I'm just going to use this one. You see that this is a real phone number. In case you are using a test number, uh, just keep in mind that you can only send messages to up to five numbers and you will have to validate them, uh, which is actually pretty simple, but I just want you to know that there is this restriction. And if you are interested in sending messages to any number in the world that is on WhatsApp, then you'll have to use a production number for that. So just keep that in mind. Okay, wonderful. And uh, for the receiver, okay, so one of the things that I love about this kind of automations is that you see that you can actually take information that you got from the previous module, and not only from the previous one, you, from like any other modules that you have before this one, and you can just pass that information onto the other module. So in this case, the phone number, the receiver phone number will be this WhatsApp uh, column that I have here, wonderful. And also I want to show you that I prepare beforehand a message template and this is the message template that we are going to use uh, to trigger the reminders and so it's a very basic template and again i'm just using this one but you can create any kind of template that you want and in the channel we have videos covering this topic and so you see that 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 it is a a, a pretty simple message it says appointment reminder hello john and uh, well actually john i mean in this case you see how we have dynamic variables and so we will be replacing this dynamically. We don't want to always use the same name, obviously. And so just keep that in mind. Hello, John, I wanted to remind you that we have a meeting today at 3 p.m. Please use this link to join the call. And this is going to be the link. Okay, and so now that I show you this, I'm going to pick this message template here, meeting reminder, and I'm going to pick the English version. Wonderful, and so you see that it shows me here the header and the body, and if I had a here, I don't know, any images or any documents, or if I if I was attaching any other information to this message template, then uh, the WhatsApp business module that we have here uh, on Make is going to automatically detect that information, and it is, it is going to display the correct fields here. In this case, it is only showing this because this is all we got, and okay. <clears throat> So let's just start replacing this information. So hello, and for the first variable, I'm going to use the name, first name. For the second variable, you see how it says, I wanted to remind you, I have a meeting today at, so date and time. And the third one is, please use this link to join the call. So it's going to be this link right here. Wonderful. And you see that, that we have a, a couple of buttons one which says confirm and the other one which says cancel. I'm going to show you how to read whatever the user replies to us. And so I'll be showing you that in a moment. But for now, let's focus on this. So it is asking me for the payload. And uh, for the payload, basically this is going, whenever someone clicks on this button, it is actually going to send this message. So I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to use whatever we have here in the button. This is going to be the payload. And that's it. Alrighty. Okay, so let, let me save this and let's actually give this a try. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it works. And 
I'm going to run this once and you see that nothing happened. Why is that? Oh my God, it didn't work. And well, the reason why it didn't work is because if you remember, we are only watching for new rows. And so we already processed the first one right here. And so I actually need to reset this and I'm going to choose where to start. And I want to tell make that, hey, I want you to start from the very beginning. I don't want you to skip any rows. And let's try this again. Run once, it worked, wonderful. Let me see. And if I open here my WhatsApp window, you see that I just received this message. Hello, Juan Esteban, I wanted to remind you that we have a meeting today at 3.30 p.m., wonderful. All right, so I, I want you to know that in this case, we are only running it once, but if I wanted to actually leave this here in the background and I want this to run and to process any new rows that I add, I have a way to do that by turning this on and in the schedule setting, I actually have a way to simply say, hey, I want this to run every minute or every two minutes or every 10 minutes or whatever. In the meantime, like if you are using a free account, you can only do it up to like every 15 minutes. So just keep that in mind. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to receive the messages that people reply to you and how to store this in a database because obviously you want to be able to know whether someone confirmed the appointment or someone canceled it. But before we go any farther, if you have enjoyed everything that I've showed you here and if you are already visualizing in your mind all of the spectacular things that you can do with this, all of the things that you can automate in your business, then I want you to know that I have worked out a special agreement with Make and you will be getting, if you use a special link that we're going to drop here in the comment section, you're going to get three months of Make's Pro Plan, the professional plan, which gives you up to 10,000 operations, and you're going to get that completely for free for three months. Only if you use the link that we're going to drop here in the comments. Okay, so having said that, let's actually try to see how to receive messages. So I'm going to create a new scenario which is this one right here. And so again, let's pretend I already turned on the other scenario and that it is already triggering the messages to our customers. And so now we want to know what they say. And again, this is actually a very old fashioned way of doing things because I mean, like if you are scheduling appointments and you're using this, you can actually use Google Calendar or you can use a better tool such as Calendly or Acuity or whatnot. But I'm just trying to keep it simple because this is going to be part of a mini series and so I will be showing you a lot more advanced concepts down the road, but I still wanted to cover the basis here first. And so let's do this again and, and I'm going to add a WhatsApp module and in this case, we're going to watch for events. I'm going to add a new hook and I'm just going to use the connection that, that I created a few moments ago. And so I'm going to use a verified token. And for the verified token, I'm just going to use something like uh, my super wow token one, two, three exclamation mark. So you see that this is a very secure verification token. And if I come here to configuration, I'm going to set up the webhook. And so basically, a, a webhook is just a way for us, to, for us to get notifications whenever there is a new event. In this case, the event is going to be when we receive a new text message. That's all. Well, actually, a new WhatsApp message. And so we got this. And in this case, we want to get notifications whenever there is a new message. That's all we're interested in in this particular case. I'm going to save this. And if I go back here, I'm going to paste here the verified token. And you see that make gives me a URL and with this URL, this is basically the URL that is going to get the notifications whenever there is a new message. So you see that it is a very ugly URL, but it doesn't have to be, I mean, nobody's gonna see this. And the last thing that I want to do is I wanna make sure that I subscribe to the messages updates and also to the message template status updates, which in this case we're not gonna need, but it's still a good practice to do it. And messages so in this case we're just telling whatsapp hey if there is a new message send a notification to this callback url that's all all right i think we're good let's save this and uh well actually let's give this a try let's see i'm gonna run this once and if i click here confirm you see that i do get the message and i get the notification and it says hey 
uh, here's the WhatsApp business account ID, here's the time, which is empty. But if I expand this section right here, you see that, I, that this is the sender. And in this case, it was actually a button. Uh, although, I mean, if like if I just got a regular text message, I can also, uh, like basically you'll have, to, you'll have to expand this and search uh, for the specific variable that contains the body of the message. So in this case, this is the one I'm interested in, which is great. Okay, so we now know that this is working. And now that you know how to use Google Sheets, I'm just going to add a new row. I'm going to use the same connection, yes, and my drive, and let me search for the spreadsheet that we're interested in. This one right here, and messages, okay. And the sheet name is going to be this one, and the table contains headers. Well, it's actually check because I have such a bad memory. But you see how it does. It has a couple of headers, phone and message. So uh, in this case, we have phone and message. And so I want to store the phone, and the phone is actually a store here. Okay, so here's the sender. This is the this is going to be the the phone number. Uh, where we got the message from and uh, for the message i want to use here in this case button again like if it, like if someone sent you an image or an audio or a video then you'll have to choose this one and i want to tell you something and is that in the next video i will be showing you how to use this in a more user-friendly way because you see that this works i mean this works actually quite nice because we're able to use our own integration but what will happen if for example you were interested in sending and receiving messages in real time well we have a solution for that and you're actually going to love it even though we have covered part of this in previous videos but i i just want you to know that we have a special solution for that in which you will be able to just have this conversation in real time well you know what i'm going to give you a sneak peek of some of the things that we will be covering in the next video and so you see that here we actually have a very nice interface which i'm not going to spend too much time on this for now but we have a nice interface that we can use for this so imagine all that we can do using make and also using this tool called wasapi and like if you combine these two tools together you'll be able to build a lot of unbelievable things so stay tuned for our next video all right so having said that uh, we have here our button and we're actually interested well let me let me delete this there we go and we're actually interested in the text right here wonderful and i'm just going to save this and let's give this a try so save i'm going to run this again but in this case i'm going to click the cancel button so if i do that you see how it does work and voila it works. You see that it added a new row and it now stores both the phone number as well as the message. And so you see that this is a, a rather rudimentary way of doing things, but it still works. And you can actually build a lot of things with this because this is actually limited to your own creativity. You can do all sorts of things with what I'm showing you here. So I hope that you find it very useful and that you start using this in case you haven't. You start using this to grow your business and to actually spend less time doing mundane things that you can actually automate with tools such as this one. All right, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you find it very useful and I hope that you start learning and applying all of the things that I've shared with you here because this is going to save you a lot of time. I mean, you can literally save yourself hours that you will just usually waste doing mundane things that you can simply automate with tools such as Make. Don't forget to take advantage of the special link that I left here in the comments and you're going to get three months of Makes Pro plan for free. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave any comments if you have any questions and also to click like and click on the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much until the next time.